How to Test Your Startup Idea in 24 Hours or Less In this presentation, we'll talk about how you can test your startup idea in 24 hours or less. It's always a good idea to test something before launching it to the general public. The market might just give you the validation you need to move it forward. We'll go over five ways you can test your startup idea. It's important that you follow these in order to determine if the idea is worth going forward. Let's get started right now. First, define what your startup idea is. What problems are you looking to solve? What solution will be used to address it? Going forward, you need to decide who your target market is. You also need to know what makes that solution unique to that market in particular. With that, we move on to the next step. The second step is performing your market research. It's always a good idea to know who your market is. What is their gender, age, behaviors? What social media platforms are they usually frequenting? The social media platforms where they hang out can be a gold mine for market research. You can pay attention to what they're commenting in groups. You can see what they might be tweeting. There's a lot you can do with market research. It's vital that you go as deep as possible. The deeper you go, the better you'll understand what they're going through. It will also further galvanize your message. You want people to feel understood by your content. It shouldn't take any more than a few hours to do this market research. Gather as much as you can about the problems they're dealing with. Don't forget to find out what their desires are. What are their dreams and goals? What are the obstacles standing in the way? You can categorize these things in a document. For example, if someone is describing a pain, make a note of it in a document. Make sure it's under the pain category. If someone is aiming for a certain desire, note it down in a section labeled desires or dreams or something similar. Get the idea? Now let's move on to the next step. The next step is creating a landing page. This doesn't have to be extravagant. It can be something that's clean and professional looking. It can be a website builder or program such as ClickFunnels. Whatever program you choose, you can build a landing page in a few hours or less. It's important to consider what to include in the landing page. It's important that you have the right offer in front of the right people. It can be a sample of a service or product you offer. Give them a taste of what a prospective client or customer will get if they become a recurring paying customer. A landing page won't be as effective if it doesn't get traffic. In order to get traffic to your site, you can post the link of the landing page on social media. Another way to do it is to use paid advertising. If you're using paid advertising, it can be a small budget like $5 to $10 a day. Last but not least, you can also send an email to your list or close contacts. Send them a link to your landing page. The final step is analyzing the results. The numbers will give you a good idea of where to go from there. Who took on the offer? Ask what their results were. If your sample audience gives you a positive report, then you know you have a startup idea that you can take further. That's it for this presentation. We hope you're able to apply everything you've learned from this. Good luck and enjoy the fruits of your successful startup. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.